folks, Rich Bassini from RJBassini.com. Come to you today to do a little demo on the Kobe um, personal mini cassette player with radio receiver, the CX, it's a CX63. Uh, it's got the three band equalizer over here. And it's gonna do a quick little demo on it, show you that the, the function buttons work here. <clears throat> uh, I just wanna tell you a little about the condition of it while I'm you, I got your attention. Um, <clears throat> this unit does have I don't know if you can see it on the, on the, on the video here. It does have scratches on it. On the, over here on the, the sides, you can see there's scratches on it. Uh, the face doesn't look too bad. It might have like a little light, might, you know, scuffs on it, but not really bad. You can see it in the camera, it's not too bad. Um, the overall body condition of it, as you can see from, on the sides, pretty clean. I'm sorry, it's pretty clean on the sides here. That's your DC3. Uh, takes a, a it's a three DC a uh, what do you call it there <laughs> AC adapter and over here it's got the buttons here for the bands uh, for the tape AM FM here's your tuner this is for the headset here but I got it plugged into my computer speakers so you could hear it play um, I would normally you know well I usually test it out with these as well uh, by the way these ain't included in there but if you do want a pair I think I have one on eBay it's a different model I believe but um, if you're interested in these you could uh, pair them up they go they really go good together um, on this on this particular unit uh, there's no reverse it's just a, a fast forward so you, you stop your uh, fast forward and your play button and uh, basically that's all I can tell you about it it is a cassette player and there is a cassette in there ready as you can see okay and uh, it's a classical one. I'm going to kill the sound in the back of the background music here for a temporary, for a second here. That's just way to let you hear it. Um, I just want to tell you one thing about the uh, AM and FM. The radio does work good. When you put the head you know, headphones on and you go outside or whatever, or if you go to a different part of your house, you could get the, uh, the frequencies really nice. They come in pretty clear, too, depending on your location. I have it preset for one channel right now. Um, the last time, the last time I was doing this here, when I was testing it out before I did the video, too much static was coming in. Uh, the area I live in has, uh, we don't have good reception around here for some reason. Um, I know there's a hospital a couple blocks away that has a lot of antennas on there, satellite dishes and stuff like that. I don't know if that's part of it. Um, plus, uh, where I am here on the desk here with the computer, I have the power supply. I got some. I got a whole bunch of electronic things behind the computer, and that's probably why it's picking up a lot of static. But when I walk away from it, or I go outside, or other parts of the house, um, this comes in really good. So uh, I just want to let you know about that part. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it on now. I got the cassette in there. It's got a classical uh, music in there, and I'm just gonna show you that the the three equal three band equalizer does work. You got high, mid, and low, <clears throat> and I'm gonna do it right now. <clears throat> That's the volume. I just I don't want to make it too loud, but I make it loud enough so you guys could hear it. And I'm just going to show you that it does work. And if you can hear the sound here, so you can see that part works. That one works. I'm going to do them separately so you could hear them. Okay, I'm going to put that back in a so over here. I'll put extra up in the middle. Okay, here's the other one. Okay, I'll make it less so you could hear it. Sorry, folks, about that. <laughs> So that's the mid-level. Okay, and then you got this here. Okay. So I just want you to know, I... it's kind of loud. I'm sorry. Once you get the full effect, you know, I think you get the, I think you get the gist of it. Um. The reason why the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you to show you that all three of these work. Um, if you are the, the lucky buyer of this, um, I got it set for AM because that's the best channel I can come in. The FM and AM work great; they really do. I like I said, I tested it out. Um, depending on your area where you live, if you I don't know, you know, maybe you don't have as much interference as my in my area, but uh, it, it comes in good here. Like I said, when I'm away from the computer area here, these that, this thing works really nice. Now this is, I think, the FM, and this is, uh, I think, a news station. Okay. Long channel. Hold on. It's it. used to be that way. Too loud. So, so much there you go. It does work. Like I said, if I go through all the channels, if I go through all the things, it's going to be too much static, and I don't want you to hear. 
I don't want you to hear static. I don't want you, to, you don't need to hear static on it to prove that it works. The reason why I do these videos, in case you're wondering uh, if you're first time coming to the auctions, is um, I do this here, these demos to show you that the, the item I'm selling does, does uh, work. Um, I like to point out the condition of it, if it's got scuff marks on there. Um, I very rarely sell items that don't work. Um, if this was an item that didn't work, I wouldn't even do a video. There's no sense to tell you how I'm going to hold this and say, hi, see this video? Is this, this item here? It doesn't work. I mean, that's crazy. I do the demos to show you that it does work. Um, and like I said, I point out the features on there. Like this one here has a three band equalizer, which I did just now. I showed you all the work, the high, the low, and the mid, mid, you know, middle uh, level works, the settings. So you know what you got. You know the cassette works. Um, I have all cassettes. So if the sound, if you were listening to it, and the sound sound a little like you know erratic or like a little worn or whatever, um, it could be two things. I did clean the head in here on the uh, cassette. Uh, it could be two things. The, maybe the drive belt is not as strong, or maybe the motor in it could be a little weak. But for the most part, it played good, I mean, to be honest with you. Um, the batteries I have in here, which are not included, of course, uh, they might not be fully, you know, fully uh, charged or whatever, the best ones around. You know, maybe they might not, they might be along the weak side. Um, you could buy a DC-3 adapter for this AC adapter, but make sure you pair it up right, because you want to put one in there and you burn a unit out. Um, I do have one, but it doesn't go for this unit. I use it for testing. I think I've talked to that, you know, talked to you guys who've been on my channel uh, many times before, that um, that's used for testing, and I don't include that with the unit. Um, cause I, and the reason why I'm stating it is because I had a buyer that seen me use it in there. Uh, I was testing something like this out, and the person got the, uh, the item, and they said, well, where's the AC adapter? <laughs> And I told them, I had to you know, write them back in the email saying, that's for testing purposes. I said, if you listen closely to the video, um, I don't include the AC adapters with it. That, that's my personal AC adapter. It's got different attachments on it. And uh, that's to test out different you know, electronic things. It could be a cassette player. It could be a DVD player, whatever. But that's for my purposes to test the, uh, the units out I pick up. But that's what we got going on here, folks. And last thing I want to point out, uh, if you put the clip on here, you know, it's got a belt clip. If you want to clip this to your belt, if you want to listen to it, whatever. It does work good. Um, I wish it was a lot better cleaner condition, like where you didn't have the scuff marks on them. You can see that. I really, you know, I try to get good things like that like for the most part. Uh, but, you know, pre-owned stuff, uh, you go to thrift stores or whatever or garage and yard sales. These things are on shelves. People are picking them up. They're putting them down again. They're playing around with them. And, you know, to be honest with you, um, when you go to these thrift stores, I try to look for an AC adapter to match up with it. And I also try to get uh, headsets to include with it, you know, make like a package plan. So, you, you know, if you don't have a headset, um, you know, at least you'd have something, even if they're not like the good headset, at least something you'd have listen, you know, something to listen to. Um, I tried it with my Sony's here, and I plugged it in here. And let me tell you, between this and that, it really, you could really enjoy the music if you like uh you know, like you got good cassettes or the AM and FM band works good too. But uh, that's basically what we got going on. And again, this is the uh, Kobe CX63. Uh, it's the, the it's the personal mini cassette player with the radio receiver. And it's got, like I said, it's got the three band equalizer. High, mid, and level adjustments. And as you can see in the video, it does work. I, I, I was going to, like I said, I normally would put the FM on there, show you the FM works and get some nice music in there. You, you got the idea of it, though. It does work, though. You guarantee, it's guaranteed to work. Um, if you have any questions, uh, if you're new to the, you know, to my eBay auction, you know, the eBay auctions, and um, first time coming here, I do demos. I do intros and demos on, on uh, different products. I do sneak peeks, and I do other things as well uh, to help the eBay seller out. So if there's any questions or comments you want, you know, you, you want to leave me, uh, that's fine. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. If you like the, what I do with the videos in general, like this one here, give it a thumbs up if you like it. If not, that's okay too. Uh, I just like to share the information with you guys. And um, I have another video I'm going to be doing next. It's the um, for the Epson printer. So if you want to tune into that, I don't know if you need it. It's an all-in-one printer. It's pretty clean, pre-owned, but like new condition. Um, I have to go over some things with that as well. But anyway, thank you very much for stopping by and checking out the uh, my auction. Uh, well, checking out my auctions on eBay there, of course. And if you have any questions, uh, you could email me at rjpassini at verizon.net. Thanks again, and have a great day. Bye now.